I never wanna be a casualty. I never wanna fight in a war I don't believe, and I don't care what you. Everyone out there in YouTube land or Facebook land or wherever you're watching this video, the Reverend Chris Reject here with a new segment that the RGP video blog is going to have called Ask the Reverend. Now what this is, is you, the fans, get to ask me a question. It can be any kind of question. You can ask us about the band, what we're doing, what kind of equipment we use, or you can just ask me a goofy question. The only thing is we ask you to keep it clean because we do have kids watching these videos. Now, I asked last week on my own Facebook for some questions, and we got some. So, hope you enjoy this. This is Ask the Reverend with me, the Reverend Chris Reject. So, the first question came from a good friend of mine uh, named Sheila, or in high school we used to call her Fred. Uh, and Sheila asked, whatever happened to Super Grover? Well, I'm going to give you the short story, folks. Super Grover was a character off of Sesame Street, if you're not familiar with this. It was Grover's super persona and he used to be able to fly. Well, Sheila used to bring uh, this super Grover doll to school with her every day and we would toss him around the classroom and make him fly. So one day when she was riding the bus home from school, one of her friends had an idea to make him fly out of a bus window and that was the last we ever saw of Grover. So he didn't fly very far or at all. So that's what happened to Super Grover. So Sheila, I'm sorry, I know you're heartbroken about it, but it, I guess it's time to move on. The next question comes from Steve Baker. Steve Baker asked me, what would the Reverend do for a Klondike bar? Well, I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. That's Rosie O'Donnell. I'm sorry, just not my thing. Um, honestly, I'm not a big, huge fan of Klondike bars, so I guess I would just run to the store and pay the dollar and some change for a Klondike bar. But maybe you're looking for a crazy answer. So I would probably run down Las Vegas Boulevard naked on a Friday night while there's a huge boxing match going on. That's what I would do for a Klondike bar. What would you do for a Klondike bar? That's the question for the fans out there. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Leave your responses um, either on our Facebook or in the comment section below. The next question came from Colleen McGregor, and she asked me, if you could have anything in the world only for a day, what would it be? Now, to be honest with you, this is the hardest question I've had to answer because I couldn't figure it out. I have most of the things that I've, I've wanted um, or could ever want. And the problem with it is just for one day. And I thought long and hard, and I think I figured it out. I want the money plates at the U.S. Treasury Department for one day and just print up millions and millions of dollars for myself. I'd give it to some of you, but mostly I'd spend it on me. What can I say? So that's what I would do with some one thing for one day. Not good enough for you? Tell me what you would do. And the final question comes from Sharon Mills. And she asked me probably the best question of all. What is the wingspan of an African swallow? The answer to that is 25 to 30 centimeters. Look it up. And I was going to get you, Sharon. I was going to be, you know, doing that whole Monty Python thing. Which one? The African or European swallow? But you clarified. So thanks a lot for ruining my fun. Maybe I'll still do it anyways. Which one? A European or African swallow? So that's it. This episode is done. But thank you for everyone who did submit a question for Ask the Reverend. Now if you would like to ask me a question, you can do it a few different ways. You can go on the Roxy Gun Project page and just leave a comment there. Say Ask the Reverend or Question for the Reverend. Or you can look me up on Facebook at The Reverend Chris Reject. You can submit your questions there. I promise you I will try to do this every other week, maybe once a week, whenever I have time. I do have a life. Not much of one, but I do have a life. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please hit that little like button that's somewhere in that vicinity there. And I'm The Reverend Chris Reject saying, Greedo shot first!
Cause I'm 